Acts chapter 9. Jesus laughed at himself. Today we will touch on brain damage and conditions. Noise and Saul, the killer of friends of Jesus. I feel a little whipped. Sometimes I feel like I've been tied to a whipping post. And we just happen to have the Almond Brothers, so they're going to be my testicular support. Let's start with a brain. My damage started young. Ear infection drove me into semi-trance a few times a year as a kid. Some would say because I could not handle the lies being used as language. God, Jesus, and the Church. And dyslexia. And that condition many like to call a disease. In German, ADS. Don't quote me, I ain't a doctor. In English, I never knew about it. The strangest thing about it is I don't see it as a disease. It certainly is frustrating for the people that have this condition. They tend to take everything personally and overreact to events most ignore or are numb to. If someone with this condition sits in front of a television, they have trouble with the it's just a show concept. They simply accept things as they see them, which makes me think they are animals. And what's wrong is not their brain, but their environment. And the other most disturbing thing is, they have a hell of a time fitting in. I'm not talking about me. The world was easier to see when I was a kid. But I saw how it tortured a friend who was young, overgrown, and could not understand what made him so different than others. And he was the scapegoat. He was, however, obviously an angel. One night, when I almost fell over the edge of sanity, he growled like a beast in his sleep. Each time my reasoning went too far. There is no question that he brought light into my life, he and his angels. I am certain we must reinterpret what a condition is, not name it disease before we look at our environment. In Algonquin Park, one needs only be. Our cities need more wilderness in less fast food junk trash, and it does not help one little bit to race around with sirens blaring. In fact, it is really pissing me off. Punk ass kids racing around with an ambulance disturbing the peace for a thousand people so they can get to somewhere 30 seconds sooner. As many problems or more are caused by reckless driving of cops and ambulance drivers blaring through the city. Noise is a serious disturbing problem for creatures with ears. But they save lives. Nothing compared to those they harm. It is terror. Loud noise is threatening. I don't suggest we abandon all we do, just most, slower and quieter, so we can concentrate and get to the moon. And Saul meets Jesus and decides not to kill Christians anymore. That's a Damascus trip. We are so vile, like caged chickens. As soon as one is different than the rest of the caged chickens, the chickens kill the odd one, over and over and over. And suddenly we have churches and Saul once in the church. And he couldn't see for a few days because he had fish scales on his eyes. I don't buy it. And if I remember at all, he was a bugger to the end. I forgot to listen to the song, so we do it again.